please leave the grid, the voice on the loudspeaker announced over and over again to the thick crowd that gathered at the starting lines for the inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix on November 18th. It was moments before the 10 p.m. Saturday evening debut of the 3.8 mile, 210 miles per hour race that wound through the streets of Las Vegas, and famous onlookers were everywhere around the track. While the sport has always attracted the elite, on this occasion the invited guest list was befitting all the spectacle and hoopla surrounding the half billion dollar event. Justin Bieber, Cara Delevingne, Patrick Dempsey, Terry Crews, Kylie Minogue, Brad Pitt, Rihanna, and ASAP Rocky. Leonardo DiCaprio, George Lucas, David Beckham, Usain Bolt, Steve Aoki, Gordon Ramsay, Lupita Nyong'o, Lindsey Vaughn, Sean White, Martin Garrix, Sir Rod Stewart, Anthony Mackie, Gail King, Brooklyn Beckham, and more milled about from the garages, the grid, and pit to the exclusive wind grid club and paddock club suites hosted by the racing teams. Oracle Red Bull Racing's Max Verstappen. The Las Vegas Grand Prix's number one antagonist prior to the race and F1's top driver won again with a five-second penalty and a mid-race collision. However, this time he prevailed wearing, perhaps begrudgingly, a custom-made Viva Las Vegas racing suit paying homage to Elvis Presley, hours after he called his fellow drivers clowns for participating in the event's opening ceremony. After the race, though, he said of Vegas' first Grand Prix, I hope everyone enjoyed it. We definitely did. I'm already excited to come back here next year, despite all the drama on the track, including the abrupt ending of the first practice session where Scuderia Ferrari's Carlos Sainz hit an insecure manhole cover and the subsequent class action lawsuit filed by fans after the grandstands and hospitality spaces shut down in advance of the second practice. The Las Vegas Grand Prix proved to be a race one off the track. Drivers, Stars and brands cashed in on the growing cachet of F1 in a city that provided little shortage of advertising space. As for the driver who dominated appearances and collaborations, it was Lewis Hamilton. He made a surprise appearance at Resorts World's The Globe in partnership with Fortnite. At Win, he mixed spirit free cocktails with his new non alcoholic pure blue agave Almave, and crowds swarmed with the plus 44x Murakami pop up shop grabbing all the merch in this limited edition collection between driver and artist. The after at Delilah and Wynn. For forces in hospitality and nightlife, when Las Vegas, the H. Dotwood Group, Bond Hospitality and Carver Road Hospitality joined together to throw the after at Delilah and Wynn. Hosted by Craig Billings, CEO of Wynn Resorts, John Terzian and Brian Toll, co-founders of the H. Dotwood Group, and Sean Christie, CEO of Carver Hospitality. This event looks poised to be the sought-after invite-only F1 after-party invite in years to come. Bieber, DiCaprio, White, and Brooklyn Beckham turned out for the inaugural bash, joined by the likes of Tobey Maguire, Casey Affleck, James Harden, Sofia Vergara, John Hamm, Leon Bridges, Zach Braff, Richie Akiva, Ashley Graham, Balthazar Getty, Damson Idris, Anthony Mackie, and Fanatics founder Michael Rubin. When recently announced its new partnership with Scott Sarciano and Will Macris Bond Hospitality, which will open a second location of private members Club Zero Bond at the resort in 2025. In July, former Win exec Sean Christie formed a strategic partnership with the resort to collaborate on Las Vegas restaurant Casa Playa and the new Seamark Seafood and Liquors at Encore Boston Harbor. Turn 66 at Resorts World. Alel Lounge on 66 at Resorts World transformed into Turn 66, hosted by Richie Akiva with DJs including DJ P. We aka Anderson. Pock, Guy Gerber, Kez James, Ruckus, Vice, and more. Ruben, DJ Zed, Odell Beckham Jr., Ruben, Catch Hospitality co founder Mark Birnbaum, Cord Overstreet, and more all attended. The party lasted until 6 a.m. for two nights running.